Yo, it's Bogue. Welcome back to Kerbal Complete and Kerbal Space Program. Today, we're sending a Kerbal Prison Colony base down to the surface of Plock, the Pluto analog from the Outer Planets mod. It's going to be pretty cool. We're sending the worst of the worst Kerbal criminals to this Kerbal Prison Colony. This is my little interplanetary ship. Well, I guess it's not little. It's pretty big. So we've got these little prison modules here. You'll see how those detach later on. This uh, centrifuge here and uh, this nice little flip out solar panel array. But yeah, it's pretty cool. We're using some part mods from the Stock Alike Station Parts Expansion Redux mod and the Kerbal Atomics mod for the main interplanetary stage engine. But we've just lifted off the launch pad. You can see quite the fairing we've got on this booster, but it gets into orbit quite nicely. We've got two solid rocket boosters mounted on the side. Um, those will detach fairly soon after we start our gravity turn. So we're just breaking through the first cloud layer and starting that gravity turn. And uh, yeah, so we'll be able to detach those in a second and carry on our way up into space. Just broke the sound barrier, looks like. Those are gonna detach in just a second. Looks like they took out my back tail fins, but it's okay. We're already in the thinner parts of the atmosphere, so that won't matter too much. That actually usually happens on my boosters in this style. I kind of use this sort of launch booster style quite often. It's pretty powerful, which is basically that lower Saturn V stock replica of the Saturn V rocket. I use the kind of like the lower half of the main booster and then usually like two solid rocket boosters. That can like get almost any payload that I've ever done straight into orbit just fine. So that's kind of a nice little tip if you want to do these giant payloads like I do. Okay, so we've got our orbit most of the way suborbital with the apoapsis above the atmosphere line and we've just drifted to the apoapsis and we're working on our circularization burn to capture into a stable orbit around Kerbin. Looks like we've just got that circularized here. And let's pop open that fairing and reveal our interplanetary stage. This is what's gonna take us all the way out to Plock, which is the furthest planet added by the Outer Planets mod, or I guess Dwarf Planet, as it was famously demoted in 2006. I remember hearing that when I was a kid. I was just in elementary school when they did that, but uh, yeah, people are still pretty upset about that to this day sometimes. I don't usually see a huge problem with it as we've discovered a ton more dwarf planets since then. So Pluto's almost got kind of a promotion in a way now that it's like the king of the dwarf planets, which is pretty cool. I just opened up my centrifuge and solar panels array while I was going on and on about Pluto. Um, and right now we're planning our interplanetary burn all the way out to Plock, which I've set as my target. Plock is on a fairly inclined orbit, so we're going to have to make a course correction burn at one of the ascending or descending nodes to match our inclination. But first, we got to kick our apoapsis all the way out to the orbit of Plock. So that's what we're doing here. This burn will also serve as our escape from the Kerbin system. So the engine that I'm using is from the Kerbal Atomics mod. It's one of the more powerful ones. This mod adds like a bunch of uh, other alternatives or other variants of the nerve st type engine that nuclear uh, rocket engine that they include in the stock game so yeah it gives you some more options some different variants of that kind of engine and uh, one of those is what I'm using for my main interplanetary engine today here I am just plotting out that course correction to match our inclination and we've got a pretty nice intercept but we're just drifting out of the Kerbin system for now. And in just a few moments, I think I'll give you guys the tour of the spaceship. Um, we've got free IVA installed, which is another awesome mod that allows you to traverse the interior of a ton of Kerbal Space Program parts um, in first person view, which is really awesome. So here we are in our command module. We've got uh, our other crew. And uh, through this hatch here, we kind of enter the crew quarters, or I guess this is this is the prisoners quarters. These guys are gonna end up in jail on the surface of Plock at the edge of the solar system. Yeah, they must have done something pretty bad to uh, warrant uh, the Kerbal Space Program to order them all the way out here on an indefinite mission time. 
Uh, this module here is pretty cool. It looks like it's having a glitch with the hatch, but it's like the hydroponics module. You can see some like food preparation space. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You can see some like plants growing on the outside of the windows from the exterior, which is pretty cool. Further out, we've gotten into the centrifuge. So we just grab onto this ladder and work our way down to the inner edge of the ring, which is uh, set up to spin. So like that centrifugal force effect kind of will pull you towards the interior of the outside of the ring. And uh, you can walk around as if there's some sort of feeling of gravity, or at least that's how they're supposed to work. You'll see these a lot in like science fiction movies. They're pretty cool. So we just passed some like more bunk bed type uh, living quarters. This ring is pretty big, so it actually has several sections. And one of these sections, oh, here it is. We've got some storage and some exercise bikes to keep our bone density uh, at a good level um, for our multi-decade mission out to deep space. That's pretty important. But yep, once you're through the ladder, you're back in zero G and uh, we'll just fly, or I guess float through a bunch of those modules and we're back in the command module here. So let's get back in our seat. But yeah, that's the ship tour. I'm gonna warp ahead now to that course correction burn to match inclinations with Plock. Not very expensive. Turns out I was only like six degrees separated um, on our inclination. But now I have to adjust my flyby of Plock so that we can get a nice low periapsis around the dwarf planet so that we can circularize into a pretty convenient orbit fairly close to the surface. I'm probably going to aim somewhere in between the orbit of its moon, Charon, or binary companion. Uh, in real life, Pluto uh, has a moon called Charon or Charon or something like that, but they are essentially a binary pair as their shared center of mass or the Barry Center is outside of um, the limits of Pluto. So they kind of orbit around this shared point in space called the Barry Center, which is kind of cool. And it's looking like we've got a fairly nice flyby through the Plock system shaping up through these little micro uh, tweaks that I'm making to my orbit. That looks good enough. We'll go ahead and warp ahead until we've entered the sphere of influence of the Plock system. This is like a 70 year journey out to Plock, which is crazy with like a traditional Hoffman transfer style trajectory. We could get there a lot quicker with engines from the Far Future Technologies mod, for instance, but I want to prove that it's possible with stock alike-ish parts. These missions to the outer planets and uh, the dwarf planets, even on the edge of the Kuiper Belt with the Minor Planets expansion, are 100% possible with just stock parts, but you'll often have to pack lots of Delta V and be okay with these multi-decade um, trajectory is all the way out to the edge of the solar system which is cool if your kerbals can take it but that's why i also recommend getting a mod like stock alike station parts expansion redux for these really cool crew quarters and centrifuges that you can put on your ship to make uh, the trip a little bit more comfortable for your kerbals so we just circularized around plock as we've captured into an orbit and uh, yeah, we're just checking out the views from the surface. That little light in the distance there is Kerbal, the sun of the KSP system. You can also see some little lights around it. Those are the other planets if you have distant object enhancement also installed. All right, now that I'm in orbit, we gotta transfer our prisoners into our prison colony base modules here. So you can see it's got these cells with these bars across the windows and those lawn chair style external command seats. And those are what our Kerbal prisoners are gonna be sitting in inside of those cells. So I have to transfer, like manually transfer them into it here by uh, spacewalking them out. So I think I'll probably just cut away till I've completed the first prison colony base module in just a second. One other thing just to save a little bit of fuel, I lowered my orbit to about a height of 20 kilometers or so just to make landing a little bit easier, maybe save a little bit more fuel. But we're getting ready to detach the first prison base module and uh, it's got this sky crane type propulsion thing on it. That's how we're going to be flying it down to the surface and once we've landed we can detach it and it'll fly away. 
pretty nicely. We've got some Werner engines or RCS engines on the side we're gonna be using to control them. But other than that, it's got like two small liquid fuel engines on the side. It uh, doesn't have the greatest thrust to weight ratio, but we made it work. It's not uh, really a smooth flyer either as it's kind of uh, difficult to control, but we're gonna try to find a nice place to set this base down preferably on a flat spot. It can be pretty difficult actually from what I've found to find a flat spot on Plock. Its surface is kind of rugged and uh, really all over the place actually, but we found a nice spot here on this crater on the right, which is going to be our base site for our Kerbal prison colony. And so yeah, it's gonna take some adjusting here in uh, just the next few scenes to get this thing on a level spot here in the crater, but we have some extra fuel and uh, we just smacked into the ground. Good thing these parts have a good impact tolerance and Plock has a fairly low gravity. So this is probably a crazy ride for the prisoners, but looks like nothing broke on the base. And we tipped over but we can roll back over like i said we're probably gonna have to do some adjusting to find a flat spot here um it took me like 30 to 45 minutes to get these guys down into their final spot but i'll kind of just quickly cut through some of those uh, maneuver shenanigans to try to fly this thing into a flat spot without destroying it I'm trying to go further down into this crater. It looks like there's a flat spot down there. But I've also got Parallax 2 installed. Not Parallax continued just yet, um, which adds this really nice scatter to the ground. These uh, rocks here on the surface are a really nice touch. Cool, so we got the first module in place and we've just detached our second Kerbal Prison colony module and uh, we're getting ready to take this thing down to the surface. This is gonna be a little bit more difficult because now we have to land in a precise spot. We've got six more of the worst of the worst Kerbal space criminals on board. You guys should leave a comment down below and give me some ideas for like a headcanon of what these guys did to uh, warrant their sentence to a Kerbal prison colony all the way out on the edge of the solar system, uh, what kind of Kerbal space crimes they could have committed, I can't imagine on this spot, but I'm sure you guys can come up with some pretty cool ideas. So I've kind of set this little maneuver to kind of guide me to land on top, or not on top, but close by, as close as we can to the other base module, which is already on site. And uh, what I've ended up doing is kind of like a couple retrograde burns and some radial out burns to kind of like keep keep my uh, speed going while uh, killing off my vertical speed, if that makes sense. Um, and we're almost just flying by the map screen here just to get that trajectory to land right on top of it. And uh, once we're close enough, we can kind of fly by uh, eye, if that makes sense. And you can see it down below, just a couple kilometers. It's got that kind of blue target and uh, distance indicator. And we're gonna be using those to try to get this thing landed right by it. But first, I think just to get a quick, quick save, and real quick, I'm gonna land this thing a couple hundred meters out and uh, do a quick save real quick once I've landed. And then we'll do some more of those awkward hop maneuvers over to try and get this thing right next to our first prison colony base module thing. And we'll see if we can do that without crashing. So we ended up uh, getting it over just fine, and uh, this is gonna be our final base spot. And we can continue to use these little sky cranes here to get their alignment just right. I wanna kinda have them be almost at like a 45 angle degree relative to each other. Um, and we'll try to use these little landing legs here uh, to 
get them on a level kind of alignment that I'm kind of using to check with the nav ball. I should have mentioned that a lot of these parts for the that I've used for these little prison cell base modules are from the planetary base systems mod, I believe. I'll link it down in the description. But yeah, it's a that's probably one of the one of the two best surface base part mods. The other one being, I think, Planet Side Exploration Technologies. Both are really good, and I'll link this one down in the description so you guys can try it out yourself. But that's just another, along with the other mods that I mentioned in today's video, those are kind of like my stock like mods that I kind of almost always keep installed. Now that we've got both of those bases down on the surface, I'm sending a lander down to the prison colony carrying two guards and uh, the pilot, of course. We're gonna try to crew up this prison colony, get it operational so that these guys can start serving their space criminal sentences out here on Plock. So we're doing much the same kind of maneuvers to try to land this thing right on top of the prison colony site. I'm just kind of flying by the map view and doing like retrograde burns and then switching to like radial out and then just doing that to kind of hop my way over and uh, yeah, we got a pretty good trajectory here. This landing should not be nearly as hard as the bases as this thing is. Much more controllable and uh, has a better thrust to weight ratio. All right, looks like we're right on top of the base. We can start floating down to the surface. I'll open up my landing legs. Coming in for the landing here, looks like we stuck it just fine, but I kinda wanna burn my way over to the base a little bit closer. All right, we'll get these guys out of the lander. This is the interior view. We'll just walk into this little airlock here and get out, take our first steps on the surface and uh, check it out but I got to plant a flag as per but this is where the guards will stand they're on this like platform above the cells of the prison and uh, yeah they're like these little catwalks here with these little guard rails uh, up on the guard tower that will uh, be their little lookout spot to keep watch over these space convicts but here we are planting that flag Pretty cool, let's get this other guy in position. I think this turned out really well. You can see the little cells and the uh, prison bars that uh, these guys are behind. Uh, yeah, I don't think they're gonna be escaping. And even if they did, they're millions and millions of miles away from Kerbin. So I don't know how they're gonna get back either. That lander only has room for three. So these guys are probably gonna be here for the next little while. I'll probably forget about them to be honest, but they must have deserved it to get sentenced all the way out here. But yeah, this has been a kind of a fun design video. All I, all I hope is that this uh, mission to Plock has been more fun than Matt Lounge from a few weeks ago. But thanks for watching guys. That's about it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed and make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this kind of Kerbal Space Program mission to the Outer Planets and the Minor Planets expansion mods. So make sure to stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.